Hello, how you doing? This is EA Evan Anderson out of Savannah, Georgia, and I'm just going to talk to you briefly here about uh, so a few ways that you can boost your success uh, with online marketing. Um, in reality, it's, it's really not that difficult at all to understand online marketing, but you got to you know get yourself familiar with the basic concepts first uh, in order to have you know a more rewarding experience. So, um, first off, you know. Just to go ahead and get started here, you always want to use your time wisely, okay? Um, when you when you're doing online marketing, it's very easy to get sidetracked um, because of the fact that I mean, a lot of times when you're doing your online marketing, you're you're on social media sites like Facebook or Twitter, uh, you know, or, or Pinterest and things like that, and it's you know. If, if you're anything like me, you know, you have these tabs open and all of these notifications are always jumping on your screen. And it's just something about that urge to just click and see who that is that left you a message or, or to see what that notification is at the top of that screen. Uh, and and a lot of times it keeps you from being focused. So the, the very first uh, tip that I want to give you here is to just uh, stay focused on your work. Um, I know it's a challenge, but it's just something that you got to do. Uh, one of the things that I personally do in order to do this is when I'm when I'm actually working on my marketing is I try to close my keep my Facebook account closed or, or remove the tab so I can't see that that number with the notifications or messages and different things like that. I don't even want to see it because I, I'm just tempted and I'm drawn to just go and check it out real quick and then you know the next thing you know 15 to 20 minutes has gone by and you know you you can't get that 15 to 20 minutes back um, so one of the most important things is definitely to stay focused on your work okay uh, the second thing is to have a plan uh, you want to have a business plan uh, that can be flexible so that you know you won't fall apart um, uh, if you if you miss out on the deadline or, or different things like that so what I usually do is I create a list of things uh, that need to get done within a certain period of time and then I go through that list and see you know what's actually feasible so what you want to do is basically you want to create yourself on a daily basis and what I like to try to do is I like to try to make my to-do list the night before so that when I'm when I get on the computer my time is focused and I already have it laid out exactly what I want to get done what I want to accomplish and then I, as I knock those things off I can just scratch them off of the list okay so it's very important to be prepared and have a plan of action okay now next uh, uh, thing is to to be true to yourself concerning your intentions okay uh, if you're in online marketing or you're in MLM or or you know uh, affiliate marketing or anything like that you, you got to set your intentions okay have clear intentions uh, and, and put the put the effort and put the work in behind it because the only thing that follows work is results you guys uh, so if you set your intentions on what you want you put in the work uh, you treat your your business as a business and not as a hobby that's how you're going to have success okay um, another thing that I want to share with you guys in order to be more successful online is to uh, is to, to learn how to outsource uh, of course you definitely want to learn the skills uh, that's needed in order to be successful in the business but as you grow and as you uh, as you begin to, to, to make money online you want to learn how to outsource so that you can free up more of your own time um, and still be getting the same quality of production and work done but without spending all of the time uh, one of the things I like to do I, I mean the whole goal of working online is to you know to, to free up more time you know just so you can have more time to do the things that you really want to do so one way of doing that is to outsource the work to, to another company or you know uh, a lot of times I use Fiverr to outsource particular tasks but you want to you want to outsource so that uh, your business you'll have more time for yourself and the work still gets done and it speeds up you know your advertising because when you outsource what used to take you you know 10 hour, a 10 hour day to get complete you can outsource a couple of things and now it's only taking you you know three or four hours to complete or get all of those same tasks completed and you know and still be able to have more have that that same level of success in your business so definitely want to learn uh, and discover ways of outsourcing and begin to market in a way that your the cost for outsourcing 
is covered in what you're what you're bringing in, what the money that's coming back into you as a result of uh, of your business working successfully. Okay. Um, another thing, really important thing with any online business is to to have a blog and and to use that blog effectively um, to to share and provide and and give value to the marketplace so that. When visitors come, they enjoy the facts, they enjoy the, the information that, that you've given them and that they're, they're getting and receiving value from that. Okay, so that, that's very important. You want readers to keep coming back to your blog and the way that you do that is, you know, by giving them quality content. Okay, now, excuse me, just one second. <clears throat> okay, uh what else can I give you guys because it, this is what it's all about it's about providing value so I just want to keep on share just a, one or two more things here with you guys because I, I really want you guys to be a success online and I really want to you know just help boost you in whatever business it is that you're in right now so um, just just one more thing that I want to share and and you can use this before you begin with uh, with any form of advertising and things like that uh, particularly solo ads in this case is, is, is basically what I'm keying in on if you're doing solo ads um, one thing that's going to be oh and for those who don't know what a solo ad is is when you're when you're uh, when you're marketing to someone else's list uh, you want to put together an ad to, to promote whatever business it is that you're in you want to have a, a subject line uh, that's going to raise curiosity I mean, but you, what I want you to think about here is when you're looking through your own personal email address uh, or, or in your, you know, your, your Gmail or Yahoo or what, whatever uh, provider you use, and you know you're getting these emails in, and you know sometimes you get messages and and they might have a topic like, uh, you know, think about when you get something from like Target, I don't know, or Walmart, and say awesome deals inside. Uh, great savings or different things like that or, or whatever it is whatever the subject line is that makes you want to open it you know it could be uh find out how you can earn uh money online from the comfort of your own home if you see a subject line like that and that's interesting to you is you're more uh apt to open up oh actually open up the email then once you open the email you go inside and you want to have a subject line and a body that's congruent with your subject line so if, if you're saying that you're going to make money online once you get inside of the body of the email you want that to also be congruent with that subject of being able to make money online okay and, and when you're getting solo ads one of the things that you want to do is if you're purchasing solo ads from somebody else you want to you know you want to get in communication and be in communication with the, the provider of the solo ad so that you can find out you know what size list this person has that you're mailing out to you know uh, or other people that are marketing the same product or MLM company or whatnot, have they been uh, has had that list been sent this same type of an offer before? You know, those are the kind of questions that you want to ask the provider uh, so that you can just make sure that you're you're getting the most bang for your buck. Okay, so uh, just wanted to share with you guys a, a, a couple of ways to uh, boost your online success um, with your online marketing. Uh, hopefully this information was useful to you um, because I mean that's that's what I'm here for man I'm here I want to I want to share uh, the things that I've learned uh, throughout the internet and help you to become more successful in business uh, because my own personal goal for 2013 is to help at least uh, 10 people earn ten thousand dollars per month online and hopefully you'll be one of those people um, so keep coming to my blog site keep checking out my videos on YouTube and uh, if you have interest in in learning what it is that I'm doing online with my business and, and as far as marketing and, and the things that are leading me down the, the right track to success there'll be a link below this uh, video that I highly recommend you click um, just to learn how to further build your business and, and, and move you along in the right direction so with that being said uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to kick back and relax for a little bit. This is your boy EA, Easy Money, Evan Anderson, Savannah, Georgia. Uh, I see you at the top. <laughs>